Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have filmed for you guys a little bit of a kind of lookbook. So I've put together three different outfits that would be good for a kind of spring, I know spring's already been done, but a kind of spring, summer, maybe even autumn wedding. It's that time of year where everyone seems to be getting married. So I thought I would just help you guys out, do a few different outfits that I think would be really, really cool, really trendy and really comfortable as well to wear to weddings. So basically I've just focused on three different dresses, a bag, shoes, and obviously all of these accessories are like interchangeable between the dresses so you can mix and match. And I think we all know that if you're going to more than one wedding in a year, that you can just wear the same dress depending on who is attending the wedding. If it's the same group of people, I tend to buy a different dress. But if it's a different group of people, you can just re-wear it as much as you want. And as per usual, I will be talking you guys through style, fit, quality, all of that shebang as well. Okay, so outfit number one is this absolutely stunning kind of chiffon style, really, really girly little purple dress. And I matched it with a pair of espadrille wedges and this kind of really cool woven bag. So I'll just talk you through the dress first. So the dress I got in a size 16, I thought it fit perfectly. Only very, very, very slight issue was that I just thought it was a tad short, but not short enough to stop me wearing it. I thought it was a really, really comfortable dress. This kind of dress just hangs off of you and it is so comfortable. And also on days when it is really hot, this is so nice and just loose and cool. So all of these items are from ASOS and generally speaking, most things that I get from ASOS do tend to be really good quality. So this is really good quality. It's actually from the ASOS curve section, which I thought was really cool. But look at that kind of floaty detailing. I thought it was so stunning and the color is perfect as well. So like I said, I got it in a size 16, it's perfect. And it was 32 pounds, which for a really nice occasion wear dress is really not very expensive at all. So I matched it with these shoes. And the reason I love these shoes is because we all know that sometimes people like get married in fields or, you know, they might have a marquee and you have to walk along grass, things like that. And I've been there before, I've made the mistake of wearing stiletto type heels and if you have to walk across any ground you're just going to get stuck. So for a really nice kind of outdoor summer wedding having a pair of wedges is perfect and also wedges are so comfortable you'll be able to wear these all night long and your feet won't be on fire. I got these in a size 7, They're, they fit absolutely perfect. Just to give you a close up I love this kind of summery weave detailing and the black is actually a kind of suede effect as well. And also with the straps, you have the option to tie them further up your leg, keep them around the ankle like I did. They're kind of versatile, but they're just so comfortable. So these aren't ASOS own brand. They're from a brand called Glamorous, which I've never heard of, but they're 26 pounds. And the quality is really, really good. There's a really nice thick rubbery sole on it as well, which has really good grip. So thumbs up to these. Okay, let's talk about this bag. First off, it looks a little bit like a taco and I actually really love that. It's from a brand called Pimkey, Pimkey, and matches the shoes perfectly. It's that kind of woven effect. You have this really pretty, oh, I stuck to my watch this really pretty little pom-pom tassel detail as well, which I think just gives it a little bit extra. And then this woven detail up here, which is a kind of white cream and gold. So with this, I think it's nice having that little hint of gold and you can wear, you know, gold hoops, a gold necklace, whatever you want, but it's nice to kind of tie the whole outfit in. It does also have this chain strap in case you do just want to fling it on your shoulder. It does unclip, let me show you. So it has little kind of clippy things like that. You can clip it on really, really easily. I personally prefer it without the strap. I would rather just kind of hold it or just kind of have it under my arm like that. 
and this was an absolute steal as well. This was only £11. So whether you're going to a wedding or not, just get it. I mean, it's a perfect size as well. There's a little phone holder in there. This is probably my most favourite thing out of everything. Right, outfit number two is this really stunning red Holston kind of midi style dress. And I paired it with this little shoulder bag and a pair of really comfy shoes which match the bag pretty much. Right, let's talk about this dress. I thought this was absolutely stunning. And not even for a guest at a wedding, if you're getting married, you can actually have these as bridesmaid dresses. It was so comfortable as well. I got this in a 16. I'd say it ran a tad small. It was definitely came up a lot smaller than the last one. But I love this halter neck neck design there. And you have the kind of twisty chiffon detail on the front here as well, which is just, it's just so pretty. And again, similar to the last dress, this is so nice and floaty. Just, you're gonna stay so cool and comfortable even when you're dancing into the late hours in the night. You're gonna be absolutely fine. I've done that before where I've gone to a wedding in summer and I've worn a tight dress. And after you've eaten loads of food and you've drunk loads, oh, I just feel so like, bleh. And having a dress like this is perfect. This is actually a really, really similar style that I wore as a bridesmaid to my sister's wedding. And that was probably one of the most comfiest dresses I've ever worn. Also, the length on this was perfect as well. It hit me just below the knee. So no worries about flashing. It's very modest. And price-wise, this was £38. So again, for an occasion wear dress, £38 really isn't that much. And it's an ASOS brand again. It's really, really good quality. I can't fault it at all. Then let's talk about these shoes. So these shoes are actually from New Look. I actually really like the inside of them as well. They're kind of animal print. But the reason I love these, big chunky heel so similar to what i said about the previous heels you're potentially going to be walking across i don't know grass or you know cobbles or whatever wearing stilettos i find is just such a risky choice of shoe so having a really nice chunky shoe and also they're just so comfortable and easy to walk in these are a kind of grey suede look. I think these are just perfect for summer in general. It's just nice to have a pair of really neutral, chunky heels like this in your wardrobe regardless. Nice little ankle strap to keep you locked in. Got these in a size seven, fit me perfectly. Really, really comfortable, easy to walk in. I'm a massive fan of new look shoes anyway. Not only because they're super comfortable, but they're also really, really well priced. These were only £20. And then the bag that I matched it with is this one. So this is from Bershka. And I am loving this chain detail. And I love that the chain is actually the same colour as the bag. But it's just a really pretty, really versatile, nice size bag. Again, you can just chuck it over and... It's just easy to carry around. This was also an absolute bargain because this was 13 pounds. And the quality of this is pretty friggin' good for a 13 quid bag. Right, last outfit. I have to say, I think this is probably my favorite dress, but I wanted to show you something that was a little bit more different, a little bit more on trend and not your usual kind of dress. So, I got this bright orange dress. And I'm not gonna lie, when I opened it up, I was like, oh, I think that is too orange. But when I put it on, I actually really, really love this. And neon is really in this year, but it's that perfect kind of summery orange. It looks great with a tan. And to keep it simple, I just paired it with a really little fascinator band in black and cheated a little bit on this. I already have these shoes, but these again are a great versatile shoe. So pairing it with a couple of black bits just tones it down a little bit. There's not too much going on. 
right back to this dress. So I got this in a 16, fit perfectly. The quality is really good. It's another ASOS own brand one. And oh, I, I thought this was really flattering. So it's really comfortable, holds you in really nicely around your boobs. Again, guys, if you want a good strapless bra for bigger boobs, I will leave a link to one below, as with all the links for all this stuff as well. But yeah, it just kind of comes in right under your boobs and then the rest of it is just so nice, floaty and comfortable. It's a kind of pleat design. Again, this was a really, really good length. The straps are adjustable, which is also great. I felt really, really comfortable in this. I thought it'd be a little bit too out there, but this is definitely my favorite dress out of all of them. And I just love that twist detail in the middle. It's just so cool. So, like I said, I got it at 16, fit me perfectly, and very similar pricing to the other stuff, this was £35. So again, really, really good quality and good pricing for a kind of evening-y, occasion wear style dress. This fascinator was also a massive steal, ignore the tag. This was only £8. I'm not normally a kind of fascinator type person, but this, I thought, was just a really cute, sweet, simple one. Just a little headband, but it kind of dresses your outfit up a little bit. Again, really comfortable. Just give you a close-up of the design itself. But £8 for a fascinator, not too bad. I know it's not a proper fascinator, but I thought that was a really good little compromise. And then these shoes are from ASOS. Oh, I got them on ASOS, but they're actually a new look. And these are actually a size six. I would have rather have had these in a seven, but I've had these for so long. I found some very, very, very similar to these not that long ago. So I'll be linking those ones. But again, just a really nice chunky heel. But having something like this, if you're not someone who likes wearing strappy style heels i know there are some people who don't like that it's a shoe boot you're going to be so comfortable in this and again i thought it made the outfit look a lot more trendy you've got the kind of neon orange the leather shoe boot it's not your typical really really girlyish wedding outfit so massive fan of those right guys that is everything for me i hope this has been at least a little bit helpful for you guys maybe giving you some outfit inspiration I know that I'm really, really excited to go to some weddings now and actually try some of these bits. Like I said earlier, all the links will be in the description box below. If you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next time.